Clint's uh, putting the profiles in today with Aaron. Then Arv will put piles in. The studio will be starting about two metres back from the house and going right to here. It's 30 square metres. And it's where we're going to be doing all our video and music production. Mostly music production in here actually. Most of the video production goes on my phone. Oh, very cool. The Paradise Duck, she's had a babies. They'll be trying to get into the water since they've seen us. That's the safety place. There they go. Mum stays on the land till the babies are in. Four babies. Oh, no, there's another wee one going there now. Five, that's why Dad was staying up. Dad's just staying there until we've uh, posed no threat. The old Pukeke are looking there for a feed. They'll take the Paradise Ducklings and they'll eat them. They've killed our scalps here on the pond too. A couple of scalps here, little native ducks. Oh, good to see some parries. Pace, what are you doing down there, mate? Pace, come. Up here. Good boy. Pace, come. No, there's a rabbit down there. I saw it go down there, but you're not having that, mate. That Highland Bull's getting on now. He's been here since I've been here, and that's 14 years. Earlier on this year, I dropped one of the cows. She had cancer. I think she's still got her hide in my freezer. Let's take it out and tan it and make something of it. I shot off a Murray on the top paddock because she had a big cancerous growth, and I put a head down in our chicken run just so the chickens could pick all the meat and maggots as it fell off because we can turn that into something we can use, make eggs out of it. I'm going to go and see how that head's looking now. It's been there for like seven months. I reckon by now it'll be completely broken down. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but uh, I will tan the hide. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. But I'm just going to do the old kerosene and baking soda or get done properly. I think I'll probably just do it roughly because my son skinned it, it was his first one and it got a few holes in it so it's probably not that good to save. They are quite a cool skin to have though, the old hiding cattle skins. These guys are making a lot of noise, the uh, farmer's come over and taken some lambs away. I'm not sure if he's drenching or if he's just like taking them. Some lambs are still with them, others and some have gone. They're certainly not very happy, they're moving around quite a bit. The apple trees were all cut down six weeks ago, looks pretty sad now. No market left for them. This is the old chicken house. I inherited it when I bought the place. It needs replacing really, or the roof does. The new one's up there. We put it up and the chickens go in there. And they come out just as one's doing freely, back and forward. And Poe's smelling a rat in there, aren't you Poe? There's a rat. Yeah, that's where they go. They take the eggs under there. G'day mate, here you go. Here you go, eh? All right, you all right? Been laying some eggs, eh? Hey, oh, they're pretty tame. Still reasonably dry inside the uh, old chicken coop. Actually, it's not bad, it's considering it's been there for a thousand years. A bit like the old sleep out up here, it's falling down. It's just about stuff, but it's still standing. Just my chickens have an entire paddock. It goes right up here. It's a fence line down here, and right through here. And there's a massive, big. Thistle's growing in here right now, we should probably take them down because I don't think the chickens can do much with them. Good, good po. Where's that heat gone, eh? Let's see if we can find that. I think it's down under this uh, bit of bush down here. I bought this old caravan as a storage space for my kids' friends when they stayed and also for a space for storing stuff and it's been really good for that for 1500 bucks. Here we go. That's it there, Po, eh? That's a big bone for you, isn't it, eh? Geez, it's all falling to bits already. Look at that. The jaw's even broken. I wonder what broke that. I certainly didn't shoot the jaw when I shot it. I shot it in the head. And I will have shot it to one side, like you do when you shoot a cattle beast. Yeah, there, Pope. There's a little car there. That's a little... Sh they just dug out of the ground. That's a little... Is it a Volkswagen? How cool is that? It was just down here in the ground. This is an old site. Used to be a dumping place for stuff. That's a little dinky toy. How cool is that? That's really old. Oh, we'll keep that for someone. It's not in bad nick either. Don't know where it came from. So when you're shooting a cattle beast, you don't shoot the middle because this hard piece up here is actually quite, there's a piece of bone run up there and you can actually hit that and not go through the brain so you get it one side and you shoot where I've shot it there uh, on this angle you don't go too far back otherwise you go through the nasal uh, canal which is in here, a lot of guys shoot 
sort of front on and end up just going the nasal passage. So here is good, or if you're going straight down the animal, even there, but that's that's pretty much a perfect shot. Oh, old mate can uh, stay there for now. You're the one that's been into the bloody super ducky eggs, eh? It's been raining for the last three hours solid, and the ground's soaking wet. The birds have all come out, started singing, just as the sun's going down, and it's beautiful. The whole place just feels magic. There's a hawk and it's circling the ducks. One of my ducks has uh, some eggs she's sitting on and I think he's just waiting for them to hatch. Oh, they got to feed their offspring too, don't they? My old pa ram still thinks it's raining but it's actually stopped. He's under one of the shelters I've got there for them. And his old mate that he always butts heads with it's gone underneath the trampoline. We put the trampoline there for a shelter against the sun, but also acts as a shelter against the rain too. And the mother in the front there, she's Lincoln Merino. That lamb is as big as her almost now. Have to watch the uh, rams don't try and mount it. They might. It's probably not in season yet though. We're going to get a great crop of apples this year. They've been pruned back well, and these apple trees are looking great. And already there's some wee small ones already starting on the on the on the branch so this is great the rain's just made everything grow when you water the garden with a hose it does well but the rain's got some sort of electricity that makes plants just they flourish well tomorrow's another day it's been a beautiful beautiful day and finished with this nice uh, calm that the rain brings see you in the morning Peter's got his head right under the pond. I think he's uh, found an egg in there. And Poe's waiting for a morning walk, just watching. Who's that, eh, Poe? You don't like pukikos, do you, mate? Used to hunt them down, eh, Poe? Good girl. Lumpy's just chilling. And here comes Super Duck. Super fat duck. Morning, Super Duck. There you go. And Ducky's right down at my feet here. She's part of the furniture now. She's been here forever. It's an eggshell. He's got an eggshell. I thought he did. So far he hasn't done anything actually other than steal my bloody grain. So you'd be getting something off that. I suppose uh, if it's a female. She lays her own eggs. She's mixing it with water and eating it. Bugger me. They're very, very good with their legs at using them as a tool. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, apart from stealing a bit of grain, she's done no damage at all. Superduct has more damage to my vegetables than Peter. I knew this piece of wood had fruit on it and I harvested them a while ago and it's just growing these new ones now. They're not fully uh, developed. You can see some of the old dry ones have dried out but we've got some new fruits coming down here. So that's really good. These are valuable, nice wood ear mushroom. And a few more here too. I'm going to leave those because it's quite wet right now. This is the other log that's broken off and some little baby wood ear. These guys look good too. They're growing, so that's nice wood ear. I will come back in about another two days and they'll be bigger. Now this guy here needs to get a little bit bigger too. They're just on their way. It's been raining a lot up here, so these guys are all they're all new. They're just coming up now. Get some under here as well. Another one there. It's, it's a good crop. I'm using Bruno's cart to make another wee garden and I'm doing six plants, kale to each one and also a veg combo pack. That's three bags of my other little city garden. I call it a city garden because you get into the city. And it's been feeding me all week. Look at the size of the kale. It's huge, and I've been just plucking leaf, and you get so much, and these leaves have actually grown since this morning. Look at the size of that one there, it's huge. Outside my, my window, my kitchen window, I've also got these ones. They're organic, and they're not doing very well. I don't like organic, I mean they just don't go as well, they're not pissy. That's not organic. Uh, courgettes, they just give and give and give, this is rocket, but that's not organic. That one's different, but the organic ones just don't have the oomph. 
So I'm not really sold on organic because it just doesn't have quite the nutrition in it. You might be wondering why I'm buying bags and I've got a little soil out here. But this garden here, apart from the rabbits have nailed it, um, it just doesn't grow as prolifically. It's not great soil. And I put a lot of stuff in here. I'm still not getting the, the real growth I want. G'day mate, how are you doing? Bit of a Josh James special, eh? What's her name, mate? Miss. Miss? Yeah. Hey, Miss? How old's Miss? Uh, about five months now. About five months. Stay there. So what's the breed, Simon? Uh, Wirehead Pointer Vistler, half and half. And you'll use her as an indicating dog? Yep. Cool. Oh, she's lovely, aren't you, eh? Oh, you're going to a good home with Simon, that's for sure. You get plenty of action with that boy. Yeah. Probably go away from our dogs just to keep her calm. Oh, he's just a puppe or leggy. Down. Are you going to use the blueprint on her or just do your own training? Yeah, I'm using the blueprint. I've been doing it for. You're a Josh James dog, you've got Simon, one of the best game guides in the country, and you got bloody the blueprint up your bum, you'll be brilliant. Good training. <laughs> you guys are the worst mothers in the world. So, this was the laying eggs they've been sitting on. And again, we've got a failed batch. Some have gone rotten. These guys just don't know how to stay on their eggs long enough. And it's a bit of a uh, disappointment to say the least. Oh, well, they're dog tucking out. Actually, they're just composting out. It's failed. That nest has definitely failed. It appears that the, the baby's growing the eggs, but they're not strong enough to get out. I don't know why, but I have yet to have a successful batch of ducklings with my Pekin ducks. I've grown them in the incubator, but the mothers just can't do it. And I don't think I'm going to try anymore. I'm going to give up because it's uh, like, uh, it's been two years. I've never been able to do it. It's disheartening. It's bloody disheartening. But anyway, I don't know what else to do other than come down here and sit on them myself. <laughs> I ain't going to do that. I've opened all the duck eggs up in the compost and what I've found is they've all got ducklings in them they just haven't got out of the out of the eggs that's what's happened they've all got ducklings but none hatched out just over a week ago we hit 100,000 on this video which to me has been the most important video ever made and the hardest and it's given us a couple of thousand subscribers and I keep on refreshing it because I'm wanting to watch it go to 200,000 and oh, oh, here we have it 200 200 beauty that's another milestone oh well it it probably won't go much further now but it's gone pretty pretty big in this uh last week and it's really been great for the channel because the channel was going <laughs> so i'm really amped to do another one i enjoyed that one so much but it'll be a while wow 200,000 since it was published in a month. That's probably the best performing video I've ever put out for that short time. Be interesting to see where it goes in the future, whether it whether it goes up further or whether it goes down. Time will tell. Anyway, just want to share that with you guys. A bit of a buzz for me. <laughs> for some YouTubers it's nothing. They get that every day. But for me it's it's a big deal. This morning this fella's going to get his stitches out of the vet, aren't you Pace? You stay in your seat. Yeah. It's a little bit anxious, not because we're going to the vet, but because we're driving through the forestry and you can smell the uh, smell of uh, pig scent coming through the air conditioning unit. Face come. Welcome to the city, Pace. Come on, mate. Come on, come on. Come on, mate. He's been playing with his mates, what he's been doing, playing too hard. Get up. Come on. Tell 
towel over Pace's head this morning, so he's quieting down. My stitches are coming out. They're coming out pretty good, aren't they? They are. You're doing a great job, mate. Awesome. Beautiful. It's going to have a team. I was going to do it myself, but I thought this morning I'd get uh, some help here. These guys, the professionals, and doing a bloody good job. And Pace is sitting there with his head covered up. <laughs> he's very peaceful, wouldn't he? I oh, know he's in good shape. You can smell the other dog. Where are you going, Pace? Pace, come. Give me a bit. Good boy. Thanks, Zoe. Good job, mate. Come on, Pace. We can find our way out. You'll be there a few times. See you later. Pace, heel. Heel up. Heel up. Come on. Get up. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, good job, Zoe. It's the RT. Got to smell every bit of pee. Come on, Pace. You're out here, mate. Well, hopefully that's the last time ever that I have to take my dog to the vet because he's been fighting with one of his mates, his son, actually. And it's uh, really got me uh, in a sort of bit of a tiz. So I just don't know what to do. I love Bigsy and I love hunting him and I want to hunt him next winter, but I just can't have that. So Pace has had his nuts out, as you probably know by now, and I'm thinking if I get Bigsy's nuts out, we might just uh, be okay. I'm gonna put Pace in the back here. Pace, up. Good boy. He has come here in the front today, front car, but his white hair's going everything. I need to get my brush down. Yes, you're losing your winter coat, aren't you, mate? So. Um, some dogs shed a lot of hair, but some shed none at all. Those Australian terriers like uh, Tilly, toilet brush, nothing comes out of here at all. But pace, white hair everywhere, and you've got to brush them down literally every day just so you don't have white hair in your car and truck and your clothes and everything you touch. This is me mate uh, Adrian, he just turned up and he's got the senator. So uh, when the weather's right and the wind stops blowing its tits off, he's going to take us out for a fish. That's cool, having a mate with a boat like that. We've been mates since we were like five years of age. Actually younger. This is Val, and that's Stuart, Stuart Webb. He's a patron, and they're staying with me for a while. They're where the log cabin's gonna be. And this is their home, and the solar panels give you all the power you need. Yeah, run, the fridge is running all the time, yeah. Can yeah. we be nosy and look inside your home? Of course you can, yeah. Okay, we'll go and have a look. You got a good view where you're living here right now. I'll let you go and Stuart, and I'll pop in there. So this is clearly where all your Electrical yeah, is. Switch gear there. There's What's uh, this down here? This just just storage. Just oh, yep. cupboards. Yep. And you need um, as much of that. And what about this? Is this storage yep. in the corner yep. as well? Fishing reels and stuff. Oh, in for there. all your fishing gear. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, sink. Uh, fridge. Fridge. Fridge over here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll get a big bit, bit nosy. Oh, you bought me some posse yum. Jeez. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you didn't have to, mate. But thank uh, you very much. Welcome. What's in here? It's just. It's just storage, uh, just everything. Pots, pans. We have to yep. tie this one because if we break too hard, it all ends up in the front with us. So. Yeah, and it's, it's a bit like it's sea, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's you're just, moving around. Yeah. So you got, yep. well, you got plenty of storage in there. Okay. Yeah. All your, all your tucker and your pans. Yeah. That's cool. And you got plenty of bench space for working on too. Yeah. yeah. A place to keep your kettle, uh, your pot, so it doesn't fall over. That's right. Yeah. This has got like uh, normal plugs. Yeah, there is. There's a there's an inverter, so we can run a bit of yeah. Oh, the yeah. guy who had it before really kitted it out quite well. Two thirty, and you got a pop up roof. So you've got yeah. your solar panels on that. Yeah, three three hundred watts of solar panel, I think. That's really cool. And yeah. there's your bed. Yeah. Gee, it's pretty cozy in there, isn't it? Yeah. This this pops down, so the whole thing goes into. A oh, van I'm gonna sit in here. I think we should have a van party in here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Not? Not? It's actually very comfortable. You can have guests. We, we, we could actually we could easily fit three people in here. We haven't very got the Christmas lights in yesterday. Yeah, oh, you got some Christmas little fairy lights. <laughs> so you yeah, actually have got room to sit here and get out of the wind and yeah, park yeah. up, yeah. open a window. And and this this all goes down into a bed up here. Oh right, okay. So you got you got a loft bed up here. Yeah. There's our loft bed at the top. Yeah. So you could actually have guests. Yeah, if you need it. Yeah. Oh, I might park up here tonight. I think I'll be, I'll be upstairs. You guys downstairs. It'd be actually yeah. very, very comfortable that there. That's actually plenty of space. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So when you leave the country, do you want to sell it? No, well, we might do. No, but we might you. not. <laughs> we might keep it for next time. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you might need to just park it up here and lend it to me for a while. Yeah, I, I could see can myself having yeah. some holidays in this. Yeah. This is brilliant, guys. It's really a good setup. And you've got power points everywhere. And then let's look in the front. What I really love about this is it's four-wheel drive. So you've got plenty of space, all your bits and pieces, and you can go off-road. 
Yeah. Yeah, though, she's... Pretty good clap, ground clearance as well. So. Yeah, you're saying it's pretty gutless, though, the engine, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks for showing me your home. Oh, you've got that. more space under your floor here as well. Well, yeah, because it's self-contained. Oh, wow, brilliant toilet. Yeah. How cool is that? Or you can take the toilet out and it makes the, the benches of normal height. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty cool. You need to have a wee thing on the back. Oh, you have got a wee thing on the back. Yeah. Let's have a look at that there. Yeah, yeah. I saw something oh, on the back. There's loads of storage, and there's all the shoes and stuff. But the, the, the amazing thing is out here. Well, this pops out the side. Oh, how cool is that? So you got so you got running water. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's for filling up your tanks, and yep. that's for getting rid of. Your and you've got an awning that pops out on the side yeah. as well. And the cooker goes on here. Oh, that's brilliant! So you got an outdoor cooking. Yeah. Nice. What's on the back of the vehicle? Uh, it's got this big thing on the yeah, back. Oh well, you know you could actually store a firearm in that because it's a lockup. You yeah. Could, you could put a firearm in here. Yeah. Right, it, I've got. Those fishing rods in there, yep. with nets and landing nets. Gas outside. Yeah. What a brilliant setup, mate. This is brilliant. Yeah. It's yeah. a good, it's a good way thing. If it just add a bit more power. Well, you could change that. Yeah. You could put another motor in it, couldn't you? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for showing it to me. You're welcome. Brilliant. Oh, well, enjoy your stay here, bud. It's good to have you, man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, makes good to meet you. Comfy. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Nice makes you comfortable. You. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Isn't it just beautiful? I'll show you guys uh, show you guys what's going on in the grow house this morning. Here we got our first lily that I've grown from a bulb. Oh, I'm going to take that inside and put it in a pot. That's magic. So over here are the other ones that I've planted and they haven't flowered yet. Coming up, that's some citrus. So this guy can go inside in a new pot. That's beautiful. And look at this also. I got this, I rescued this from the beach, it's going really well. Not that there, it's uh, not supposed to be in there. I think this is a swarm plant or it's just a weed, I'm not sure. But this here is off the coast. It's a Cape Gooseberry and it's grown really well. I'm going to put some sticks in that and yeah, that's going really good. Beautiful. G'day Pace, how you going mate? Hey, what you doing on the loose? Damo walking you, is he? And curly kale, I've seeded those. It looks like they've all pretty much come up, except maybe one there's not, but they're doing alright though. That's good. I did this uh, city garden as an experiment, and it was so good, I've decided to do another one. It's actually producing more vegetables than I can get, like at the speed, out of my normal garden. A lot faster, and I guess it's because it's nutritionally packed uh, potting mix. So I'm going to put one more in there. And uh, this is something that, if I go camping, I could actually take away a bag and do a mix, mix one. How are you finding it doing with your hands there, Val? Fine, yeah. Very therapeutic. It is very therapeutic. Yeah. This uh, mulch has made a difference, eh? Yeah, big difference. Mm. Big, it does not so many twirly things. Yeah. That's an upper under. No, we need more mulch on the other side. I started on this side here, but uh, ran out of time. So this has, has to be mulch, so if you get time, if you don't, I'll do it, but there's plenty of mulch over here still. Okay, yeah. So, how old are you, young man? Uh, 67 next birthday. You're in good shape, mate. Well, maybe. What's the secret to being long life and healthy and yeah. fit? Not too much whiskey. Not too much whiskey. <laughs> or beer. Yeah. Plenty of exercise. Yeah, well, that's what you guys do. Mm. Now you're in good shape, 67. No chance of catching him with those little legs. <laughs> Tilly the toilet brush trying to catch pace. Make a lot of noise here, Tilly, but not much uh, joy in catching him. Let's come. She likes to drink where people poo and wait. Still we called all the man's best friend. He dropped the tail on mother's roses. Two fathers got in houses. Still we called all the man's best friend. She came from the poor side of town. He came from the bloody pound. From the bloody pound. Come on, face girl. Come on, face. He likes the munch, then he'll spew it up Good and boy. eat it for lunch. Face girl. Still we call dog a man's best friend. You go steady. Oh, it's a dog's life here on the farm. Honestly, these dogs have a great life. 
You'd be having a better life, mate, if you hadn't attacked uh, Pace, but you're on the lead now, yeah. Keeping you in close where I can uh, have control over you. That's right. He does get a run off the lead when Pace is uh, with me. He's with Damo. But right now he's staying here. Well, I think our guests are pretty comfortable. They've got probably the best place in Tasman right now. Okay, maybe sea views would be better, but I think it's pretty good. They've got views of the mountains. Poe thinks it's a pretty good life, don't you, Poe? Eh? Yeah, mate. You think it's a pretty good life. Good girl. Yeah, I'd say they're having a mighty fine time up there. That's actually where I want to build my log cabin eventually, but uh, that job's for another day. Currently, Hillary's uh, in hospital. She's had an operation and it's gone successfully. And her sister Margaret's living in the houseboat. And she's uh, doing very well. Her garden's looking great up there. And we're looking for mushrooms. It's that time of year. Haven't found it yet. Pretty hard to find them under this grass, but there should be some somewhere. Hey, Pace. You can carry on away, Pace. Where you go? Where you go? He's a bit happier now. He's had his, his stitches out this morning. Somewhere there's a dog. Come on, Big Z. Let's go, mate. He's probably sniffing field mice. He's a bit like his mum, Poe. Looks catching the odd field mouse. Come on, mate, let's go. I'm still keeping Pace and Bigsy separate. Pace, where you go? Where you go? That's my video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope your own worlds go well. Be good. Can't be good. Be careful. And I'll see you in the next Clay Tool Stories video. See you later. Look at this beautiful boy. What am I going to do with Bigsy? Beautiful dog.